As the British Army advanced towards Jerusalem in the last 12 months of the First World War, with the aim of breaking the Ottoman Empire's grip on the Middle East, the government published its policy concerning the territory that would become the British Mandate of Palestine. The House will recall the material sentence of the Balfour Declaration. His Majesty's Government view with favour the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and will use their best endeavours to facilitate the achievement of this object, it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine or the rights and political status enjoyed by Jews in any other country. A century after those words were written, I believe that the Balfour Declaration paved the way for the birth of a great nation. The State of Israel has prevailed over every obstacle, from the harshness of nature to the visceral hostility of its enemies, to become a free society with a thriving and innovative economy and the same essential values that we in Britain hold dear. Liberty, democracy and the rule of law have found a home in Israel more so than anywhere else in the Middle East. So Her Majesty's Government is proud of Britain's part in creating Israel and we shall mark the centenary of the Balfour Declaration on Thursday in that spirit. And I see no contradiction in being a friend of Israel and a believer in that country's destiny 